we met at church. Mm -hmm. Like, it was one of those weird things where the church that we were both playing at, there's tons of people who come in and out. So like, you'll be on the stage with somebody who you've never met before all the time. And I was back on the drums like, man, who is this girl? Like, I just, I couldn't wait until we finished so I could like formally introduce myself and say, hey, we got to work together. Cool, cool. Right. <laughs> That's how we met. I think what we've made with this record, I couldn't have made without you. You couldn't have made without me, which is always Absolutely. such a fun. Yeah collaboration and that's where the magic is yeah in great collaboration yeah so we worked together for other artists yep. just me doing a little bit you producing yep. on hip-hop projects and then it was a long time ago you were like hey we should do a solo yeah. record almost two years ago yeah maybe it's been maybe. a long process yeah. but I was all about it it's yeah. been really fun so the central thought is learning to be human it's just looking at life, looking at each person and saying we're all on this journey to become, hopefully, to become more of who we were created to be, more human, more complete, more fully alive. Um, and I think especially now because people are, people are anxious, they're angry, they're, it's easy to forget the humanity of each other and the, how we're all part of the human family. I definitely get that message really strong. Like song after song after song, it's just, it's um, it's hope, but it's hope sometimes from a dark place, mm -hmm. which I like, you know, yeah. because I feel like pain makes some of the best music and oh, most people, yeah. I don't say most people, everybody has pain that we, yep. that we deal with and you have to try to find a way to like exude some hope. If I had to try to squeeze it into a box, Whatever that box is called, it would definitely have alternative in front of it. You know, with this, and Nate has pulled a lot more of the soulful vibe out of me, which I love. That's, when I was a teenager, I wanted to be Whitney Houston more than anything in the world. One of my favorite quotes is, I think it was Louis Armstrong, and he said, there's just two kinds of music. It's good music and bad music. <laughs> so, it's good. It's good music. <laughs> what about you? What's your musical background? Well, it's a little bit of everything, you know? Like, I started really young and really early, and I started in church, like a lot of people. And then I started from there to move along to like the school bands and stuff, which is definitely rooted in classical training. So, did a lot of that. I, I was the quintessential band nerd for most of my life, so. Like every season, it was marching band, concert band, jazz band, solo and ensemble. You know, that was that was me. I'd say uh, one of the major differences between working with Lizzie and other artists, and it's no shade to any other artist, but Lizzie is a lot more complete than than most artists, and that's for a lot of reasons. One, because of her level of musicianship and like being multi instrumentalist. Um, Another is just the experience level and, you know, have been on stages and, I mean, how many records do you already have? Oh, I don't know, a few. A few. <laughs> like, when, it, when everybody responds like, oh, I don't know, a few, like, <laughs> you know, you like downplaying a whole lot. So, so it's me trying to just support your vision in the right way and at the same time pushing you. So yeah. I feel like this is probably more of the traditional producer role. Like yeah. when I think about Quincy Jones and working with Michael Jackson, right? Quincy Jones didn't have to create Michael Jackson. He just figure out like how do we make Thriller and make this the best album ever made. Yeah, I just want to make stuff that feels very honest and real. I, I, I can't wrestle anything up. Like it's, I love the, the artists that are my very favorite they wouldn't necessarily win a singing contest, but they're just, you know that it's real for them yeah. and they believe it and they're passionate about it. Yeah. And their emotion is just all out yeah. for, for every song and every performance. So I love that. I mean, I want to inspire people in that way. I want people to, that's just such a special thing to have a performance, give all you have, and then it means something to somebody. It affects them and inspires them, encourages them. Helps them become more human, hopefully. That's the goal. Good answer.